Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a very exciting video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a video that you guys have been suggesting to me a lot recently. In this video, I'm gonna be trying on some Amazon prom dresses. So if you guys haven't seen my last two prom dress videos, I tried eBay prom dresses, and then I tried Wish prom dresses, and all throughout those comments, you guys are telling me to try Amazon prom dresses, so that's what we're doing in today's video. So why I do videos like this is for people who don't wanna spend a lot of money on their prom dresses. I'm trying to find a good, inexpensive, of prom dress for you guys so you guys have been saying that I should try dresses that are more around the $50 price mark and see if if you spend a little bit more money you can get way better quality so that's kind of what we're doing in this video these dresses all range from $12 to $60 so they're a little bit more pricey but hopefully we'll see a better dress so I have a total of seven prom actually no six Amazon prom dresses to try out as you guys can see I picked some pretty fun colors a lot of variety here so I'm really excited to try these on so let's go ahead and try on these prom dresses okay so the first dress that we're gonna try on from Amazon is this super pretty corally pink dress I think that this dress is such a pretty color and this dress was $49.99 on Amazon and here is the picture they're selling it off of because if you guys have seen my last few videos like this we try and compare it to the picture to see if we're getting catfish so I'm excited but okay let's open this up okay so here is what it looks like the top half is really pretty. There's a plunging neckline with a little bit of mesh. I don't usually love plunging necklines, but I think that this dress, it kind of suits it a bit, so we'll see. And then all the way, there's these pretty detailing all the way to the bottom, and then the bottom just has like a full thing of detail. That's really pretty. Just in case you guys are wondering, the sizes I got were zero to two, or if it was in small, medium, large, I got a small. So if you guys are similar sizes to me, that is what I ordered. So without further ado, let's try this on. I didn't really notice this, but there actually is a fabric that stops right here and then it goes into like mesh. And I usually don't like that, but in this case, I don't mind it because there's such pretty detailing on the bottom of the dress. But okay, let's get into this. I'm gonna throw off my slippers. That did not go as I thought it would. Okay, so here is this dress on. I absolutely love this color. This is such a pretty spring summer color for like prom I think it's really really cute but as far as the dress goes I think my favorite part is probably actually the bottom the mesh bit with all of this detailing it's just got these really pretty flowers that are pink and gold the only thing that I probably would change is I kind of have a short torso so this feels kind of too short so I think I would pin the sleeves to be a little shorter because you guys can probably see there's some access right there, so it looks like it's drooping kind of low. The plunge neckline isn't gonna look as cute because I'm wearing a strapless bra, but just so you guys know, there is a built-in bra, so you wouldn't even need a bra under this. I'm gonna see what it looks like if I shorten the strap, so I'm just gonna pin it a little bit. Usually when you go prom dress shopping, they will pinch it a little bit for where the alterations will be, so I just wanna do that just to get a better idea of the dress and what it would look like. And honestly, to order this dress and have it fit lengthwise, hips, waist, and all I would need to do is shorten the straps is pretty good. I actually think this dress is so pretty. I don't know what you guys think, but I also think it really looks like the picture they had online. Like, I don't feel like I was catfished by this. I think it lives up to it. Okay, but let's try the next dress. Okay, so the next dress I have to try on is this light blue dress, and this one was only $22.99. How do I get into this? And this dress came in a whole bunch of different colors, but I just chose it in a light blue because I thought it would be kind of fun, and I really like this color. It's super pretty. The top looks really pretty, and it actually feels like okay quality. Let's put this on. Okay, so here is this dress on. Now, like I said at the beginning, I got all these dresses in a small or like a zero or a two, but this dress did feel a little bit big, so I had to clip it, as you guys can see by these clips. Even though, personally, I'm not a huge fan of strapless dresses, just because I wasn't like super gifted up here, so I, see, I feel myself always pulling it up. But I know there's a lot of people who really, really like strapless dresses, so I thought I would throw a few of them into the mix. But okay, now that I got that out of the way, I actually think this is very pretty. And it really does look like the picture they had on the selling page. It almost looks like it's definitely the exact dress, like it's the same. I think this dress is fairly simple, but I think that these jewels really does spruce it up a little bit. It makes it look a little bit more fun. And I like the way the waist 
falls from these jewels it just kind of pleats out from underneath them and it was only $22 like that's pretty good and I would definitely say that this dress is well worth it if I was gonna like guess how much this would be I would honestly say probably a hundred dollars so I think that's pretty good but okay next dress okay so the next dress that I have to try on is this one and this is like an off-the-shoulder dress and I don't know how the color is being picked up in the camera but it's just a off-white almost yellow dress it's got some beading right here and it's full lace so I'm excited to try this on how much was this this dress was $49.99 so let's put this on so I personally really really love lace some people think it looks kind of grandma-y, but I think it looks super elegant and pretty, and that's exactly what I feel like about this dress. It's a little bit jazzed up with these jewels right here and the half sleeve, but for the most part, it's pretty straightforward and pretty. I think if I was going to wear this, the only thing I would do is tighten it a bit right here. There's a little bit of gapping. The only thing I'm not super in love with with this dress is the back of the dress. As you can see, the whole top part on the back is mesh, so you would have to wear no bra, but there is a built-in bra, so that's good. I don't think the back like this makes or breaks the dress, I just personally don't love that mesh look. Once again, this one fits me good, good length, and it's got a double layer, so it's got normal, the lace. I think this dress is so pretty. Let's try the next one. Okay, so the next dress that we have to try on is the most inexpensive dress of all of them. This dress was only $12.99. So here is the picture off the website. This dress actually looks like it's gonna be a little bit big, but okay, we'll see. Let's put it on. My gosh, I was so wrong about it being too big. I literally almost couldn't get into this dress. It is so tight around the waist like I don't think I could eat in this dress that is not a good sign but for $12.99 this dress is pretty decent it feels good it's not itchy I think if it was a different color I might like it a little bit more this is a really pretty color but I think like a royal blue or a red would maybe look a little bit better. I don't know, maybe that that's more just personal preference. This bottom skirt is actually double layered and then there's another one so it's not see-through at all which is really nice because in my other videos there was a lot of see-through dresses. I almost feel like this would be better as like a bridesmaids dress than a prom dress but I think it's really cute like if you need bridesmaids these dresses are $12.99. Like, that is not bad. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, so the next dress that we're going to try on is actually the most expensive of all the dresses. And this dress was $59.99. Here is what the Amazon ad says the dress is going to look like. And here is what it looks like. It's just this really, really pretty black. It's actually like quite a heavy material, but it still feels stretchy. And under the black, there's this metallic gold. All right, I'm excited. I kind of feel like this is gonna be more of a classy dress because it's got the high neckline. Okay, let's put it on. Okay, so here is this black dress on. I'm in love with this dress, you guys. This is such a pretty style dress. Also, yes, I did cinch it a bit, but this was more personal preference just because it was gapping a little bit in my stomach so I just thought I would do that just to see what it looked like. If you guys watch RuPaul's Drag Race, does this dress not look like something Bianca Del Rio would wear? I'm channeling my queen. And this is like a stretchy material. Like you could jump around and eat a pound and still look good. You might get a food baby, but that is no big deal. At least your food baby is not trapped in some tight fabric. Okay, on to the last and final dress. Okay, so the last dress is red and it was $51.99. Here is what this dress looks like. This is a pretty simple dress. It's got lace on the top and then just a nice really flowy skirt, but this is freaking killer red. Look at that. That is so pretty. Let's put it on. Actually, we haven't jumped into anything. Let's jump into it. Okay, so here is this red dress. This feels like I could be wearing a nightgown. It is so comfortable. If you want to be comfortable, this is your dress. I feel like this is one of those really simple dresses that you could dress up with jewelry, arm jewelry, your hair really nice, and it would just look so stunning even though it's such a simple dress. I know that simple is pretty obviously, but I think that this red 
makes it kind of like eye-catching still. And this dress is so freaking comfy. I really like this dress. I think it looks really pretty and it fits me good. And this is one of those dresses that came in a lot of other colors. So if you wanted it in a different color, they have pretty much every color in the rainbow, I think. So this is the last dress of the Amazon dresses. Let's switch to my final thoughts. Okay, so that is all the Amazon dresses I have to try on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys have been suggesting this video a lot to me, so I hope that it lived up to your expectations. I was actually super impressed with these dresses off of Amazon. Granted, they were a little bit more expensive than the other dresses I've tried. I think that they were well worth the money. The quality was nice, the styles looked like the pictures, and they fit me really well, so they kind of check all of the boxes for me. I think out of eBay prom dresses, Wish prom dresses, Amazon prom dresses are probably the best in my opinion, but I do think that spending more gets you better quality probably in this case. Well, I don't know. You guys can be the judge of that. Which dresses did you like the most from the videos? And also let me know from this video in particular, which dress off Amazon was your favorite. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button if you want to see my next video. I post on Fridays and bonus videos throughout the week. Usually my bonus videos have been on Tuesdays. I don't know why. I've just noticed that. It's not really scheduling. It just happens like that. So subscribe if you want to see those. But yeah, I hope if you guys are looking for any expensive prom dresses that this video helped you out a little bit. If there are any other websites that you want me to try prom dresses off of or anything, comment them down below and I'll get right on that. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!